Hey guys, in this video we review the concept of blood loss. How much is too much? So let's get started. The medical community divides blood loss into four different classes. These classes range from minor blood loss all the way to a major hemorrhage. Before we break down each class and their signs and symptoms, remember the adult human body has roughly 4.5 to 6 liters of blood coursing through it. Typically, you can roughly estimate blood volume by using the equation of 70 to 90 milliliters of fluid per kilogram of body weight. Now, let's get into those classes. Class 1 is loss of volume up to 15% of total blood volume, approximately 750 milliliters. Heart rate will be minimally elevated or normal. Typically, there is no change in blood pressure, pulse pressure, or respiratory rate. The body can easily compensate for this fluid loss by shifting fluid within the body to the vasculature. However, there may be a feeling of fatigue here. Class 2 is volume loss from 15 to 30 percent of total blood volume, from 750 milliliters to 1500 mLs. The body begins to notably compensate. Heart rate and respiratory rate become elevated, 100 to 120 beats per minute and 20 to 24 respiratory rate. Pulse pressure begins to narrow, but typically systolic blood pressure remains unchanged or slightly decreased. A feeling of anxiousness or restlessness may accompany this class. Class 3 describes volume loss from 30% to 40% of total blood volume, an equivalent to 1,500 to 2,000 milliliters. This is now the time where the body begins to decompensate for the blood loss. A significant drop in blood pressure is noted and changes in mental status occur. Heart rate is now significantly elevated, more than 120 beats per minute. The respiratory rate also is now significantly higher. Urine output declines as well as capillary refill is delayed as blood is now shunting away from the extremities. Due to this shunting, the skin also may appear pale, cool, and clammy. Class 4 is the most severe class, describing volume loss over 40% of total blood volume. Without some form of intervention, the patient will die from this amount of blood loss. Extreme hypotension is now present with a narrow pulse pressure, less than 25 millimeters of mercury. Tachycardia becomes more pronounced, more than 120 beats per minute. Mental status becomes increasingly altered. Your patient may be lethargic or unresponsive at this point. Urine output is minimal or absent and capillary refill also may be minimal or absent. Skin here will be pale to cyanotic, cool, and clammy. Remember guys, as EMS providers, you need to bear in mind the signs and symptoms of compensated versus decompensated shock. Be on the lookout for the mental status change and the decline in blood pressure. These two signs inform you that your patient has just moved from compensated to decompensated shock. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.